Hi, I'm Dana and I'm part of Airtable's content team. A question that we hear pretty often here at Airtable is, how do you build an org chart in Airtable? In your base, you'll often want to have a team table to have information about your colleagues, like their name, their title, their email, or maybe even where they live. One of the elements you probably want to track in that kind of team table is who reports to whom. In Airtable, it's super easy to visualize that information so that it's always clear who reports to whom via an org chart. Let's jump into Airtable so I can show you how to build one. So in this table, we have information our, on our team. Uh, we have information like employee name, location, department, and even a headshot. To give more context on our team table, we also want to track who reports to whom. So let's go ahead and jump in. To structure your org chart, you'll first need a way of showing who reports to whom. In Airtable, you're going to do this via linked records. So for example, let's say that we know that Brooke reports to Pat. To reflect that in this base, what we'll do is in this reports to linked record field, we'll go ahead and find Pat and link her here. Now we're showing that Brooke reports to Pat. We'll do that for the rest of the org. Um, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and filled in all the relationships in this org, um, but obviously go ahead and fill yours in uh, according to how your team is structured. Okay, so now that we've established these relationships, we can go ahead and build out our org chart. To do that, we're first going to open up our dashboard, channel, or dashboard panel, and then we'll go ahead and add the org chart app. So as you can see, I've already added the org chart app here. If you haven't already done that, what you can do in your dashboard panel is go to add an app, find the org chart app in the app store and add it to your base. But let's go ahead and get into the configuration. So as you can see, like I said, we already have this one all set up, but I'm gonna walk you through exactly how we did it. The first thing we did is we chose the table that we're pulling this information from. So for us, it's the all employees table within this space. The second thing that we did was we picked out the view that we want to pull this information from. Again, for us, it's just the grid, this first grid view within the all employees table. The next and probably one of the most important things in this org chart is the relationship field. So this is really telling our org chart how we relate these different records to one another. We've indicated here that we use the reports to field that we showed before to show how these different records related to one another. Then we went ahead and selected parent as the relationship type. You also have the option to color your records by view if you so choose. One other thing that we've opted to add here is a cover image. Um, so here, since we conveniently have employee headshots already in the base, we went ahead and selected those. Uh, but you can also select secondary fields to show up in this work chart, like title, department, and location, which you can see here. And you can add any other information in that table into this work chart. So that's everything. So now you have an always on org chart that anyone can reference right in your base.